Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my Cliff Cave home house tutorial, whatever you guys want to call it. It's a really cool home. It's got everything you could ever need for survival. And in my opinion, I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, let's get started. All right, now to build your cliff cave home, you're gonna to wanna to find a cliff on the side of a mountain. You wanna dig out a semi-big area that's flat. It really does not matter how big it is, it's more important that it's flat. So once you have that, you're gonna place two logs facing out, just like that, you're gonna count. You may wanna build them a little bit further up away from here. So again, you might just have to cut a little bit of the mountain off. And you can make it look a little bit more natural. Now I'll explain what that means in a moment here, but let's just get this done for now. So to make it look a little bit more natural, you can just kind of follow the pattern here and just kind of break it down. Something like that looks good to me. I'm a little bit out of breath. I'm not sure why, because yeah, I haven't recorded it a little bit. I'm not used to talking, guys, but we're going to put two logs out like this. Then we're going to count a one, two, three, four, five, six block space in between, and we're going to build them up. Now, I'm just going to move these one over, so there's still a six block space, but I just wanted to move that over. You're going to count up one, two, three, and four, and then place a block. So there's a four block space here, and then a one, two, three, four, five, six block space. So one, two, three, four, then place your block. Now we're going to connect these blocks right here, just like so, and then this one's going to want to be facing up. You're going to extend this two more out, just like that. Perfect. Now there's not going to be a way to really get support under. I just imagine that it goes like into the mountain, just like this, and like that's what is giving your uh, lateral support at least. Or wait, is that bilateral? Bi I don't know. Someone in the comments correct me, but I, I think that's right. But we're just going to put the logs right there, and then right there. And then we're going to take some slabs, and we're just going to outline just these three blocks right here so it looks like it has something to set on. You may just want to turn this block up, just like that, and then place that block right there. Then we're going to want to take a fence, and we're just going to want to fence in this area right here, right here, and there we go. Perfect. Now we're going to come inside of here, right here, where we have the uh, area of the house built. And you only want to break it up to be about this high, so you don't need it any higher than four blocks. And we're going to go ahead and break this back eight blocks. So this is two right here. And this is going to be three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then all you have to do really is just dig out this area. So let me do that real quick. And perfect. Now we have the area. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by four by eight. So uh, essentially, actually it's not eight. I guess it's six wide. Yeah. It is six wide. Perfect. We need to do the roof. We don't have a roof on this build yet, so we're going to come over here. We're going to place some slabs just on the outside on the same level, and then we're just going to slowly bring them up. Uh, I guess not really that slowly, but just by a half slab every time until you meet in the middle, and you'll be too high. And then we're just going to build another slab on top of all the slabs we've built here. This adds a little bit more depth to the roof, and it's just going to make the roof look a little bit better. You may want to extend this one off just like this. And that can add even more depth to your roof and it's just going to sort of protect you when you're standing there now the material for the floor doesn't really matter but for the deck I'm going to go ahead and just stick to the theme of wood here although inside the build um, like you know actually in the build itself we're going to be using a material that's not wood now on the bottom side here if you were to break these blocks since those are gonna be the floor you could see them so you may just want to take some stairs and just sort of put them uh, like that that way when you break these blocks you can't even see it so it doesn't matter what you use for the floor, but I'm going to use cobblestone just because it's as simple to get material and I think it looks good. We may actually even use, let's just use stone brick, because why not, I'm uncreative. So I'm going to do stone brick for the floors. Alright, should be nice. Alright, so we got stone brick floors, now in the corners here I'm just going to take some oak logs just like this. And I'm just going to place those there, I'm going to grab some torches real quick, and we're going to light up the inside of the build as well as the outside. So we'll get to the inside some more in a second. So you can really put torches wherever you want out here. It really doesn't matter. You could put them right there if you just want to sort of symbolize that this place is well and alive. You could put them all four around there. That's actually kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it right there. That way we just have the best area for torches. Nice. Now if you're wondering how to do an entrance, so on one of these sides right here, all you really have to do is just build out a log like that and then connect it and pretty much just in that space you could just build a ladder now you could build a staircase up here you could build ladders like all the way up the side it really doesn't matter but just this is a good way just to have a nice little uh, area to land in now if you have some blocks like right below you you could build it up like this just to make it look somewhat realistic uh, again it's not you know totally realistic but it, it, it'd be a little bit better if you had something like that that's gonna look a little bit better now I was thinking it does look a little bit funny just sort of sort of floating there so we're gonna go ahead and do some supports right so we're gonna bring this down just two blocks just like this 
Now we're going to go like this. We're going to put one more and then one over. If that makes any sense, just like one more and one over. So you're going to do like one more over and then down. If that makes any sense. I don't know. You just sort of follow that pattern right there. Now on the uh, inside, you can go ahead and just place these stairs here. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and do that on the outside. That's just going to make it look a little bit more supported. It'll make it look a little bit better. Just, just, so it's not like just floating there in midair out of nowhere. But uh, it really doesn't matter what you do. I may just remove those on the inside. Just keep them on the out. And I think that looks kind of cool. We may actually put one right here. I think that'll look the best. Yeah, that looks good to me. It looks nice and supported. Nice, nice, nice. So let's get to the inside. Now, one thing I'm thinking you could do is break out the roof. So like in here, you could just break out all these blocks just like these and break them all the way back to your entrance. And you could make a nice little roof in here and it would look pretty cool. So I think I'm going to do that in my build. So again, I'm just breaking all these blocks back just to where the uh, here. I'll, I'll explain in a second, but I'm just breaking the bottom two rows and then the first like the middle two of these and I'll explain here in a second what I am doing my thought process everything so we're gonna go ahead and just extend these up a little bit I'm not gonna change where the torches are because they're at an optimal height for lighting and I think it'll look just fine without that so I think it's safe to say that the ceiling in here is definitely going to want to be I mean you can kind of see that from above but it doesn't really look bad just because that's like the block used for the roof but you see these blocks right here I'm gonna all just replace with some oak wood planks just like this and it'll just make the roof look nice it'll have a little bit of depth to it it's better than just a plain flat roof in my opinion I think it should look pretty good pretty good indeed because I was looking at it I was thinking how do I want to do these these uh I guess not these uh, ceilings but this ceiling how do I want to do it so just something like that should be good now we're gonna come in here you can uh, yeah I think it's gonna look good with these slabs so I'm just gonna sort of bring those slabs all the way back and now your roof is nice and this cave house is looking real real big now you can go in here since I did say that that's how I'd like to imagine it you could go in here and just sort of bring these back that'll just I mean it'll just make it look nice it's not gonna detract from your build at all I would say or I wouldn't say it would detract from it so let's figure out a material in here for walls so I'm thinking for walls in here, we're just going to go with good old trusty cobblestone. Don't forget a fence right there. Don't forget that. You don't need it on this side, obviously, if you have an entrance and exit. But it also might be good to put a trap door there. But anywhere in here, I'm just going to fill in with cobblestone. So you guys sort of know where I'm going to place it. All the way up here, of course. And I'm just going to fill that in real quick. And we got one. Number two. And I'm thinking right here, I'm just looking at this. It looks a little odd with that support there, not going to lie. But... Since you got the build master in here, we're going to go ahead and just add a little bit of depth around it. And I think this should totally fix our issue 100%. It'll make it look kind of cool, actually, I think. Yeah, 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 that looks awesome. So we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing over here. I'm too lazy to click F12 and pause the recording, so I'm just going to build and bore you guys. So let me know in the comment section down below, what is something you guys would want to see me build? Because it doesn't seem like what I'm building right now. I'm not getting too many views and I'm not complaining and I like any views and I still like uploading for you guys but what do you guys want to see personally? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite style of house. You like cliff homes, cave homes, you like above ground homes, mansions, modern mansions, modern homes, modern cliff cave homes, modern underground homes. Whatever you guys enjoy let me know and I will be sure and sort of try to build some of those for you guys but you see I'm gonna follow this thing all the way around and it's gonna just gonna make the build look a hundred times better guarantee it right here see these things I don't plan out like I, I didn't plan out any of this build I'm just building this from my head because I can I can do that guys but look there we go I think that looks incredible so let's actually get to the inside of this build tutorial and let's design the inside now I'm not 100% sure what I want this bedroom to be I do know that I want to extend it somewhat back just because I don't think there's enough room right there for a whole bed and I don't know what that here I'm just gonna actually what blocks can I you know, I can put these ones down and I just need to fill in right here with cobblestone that way we continue sort of the same wall pattern not the same wall pattern but the same wall material and we're just going to actually we'll go one more back so we'll go three back from the wall and we're just going to fill in these areas here yeah that's right I got the click strats boy and let's see what uh what's from mm. yeah we'll go ahead and just do the rice ceiling material just so we can feel cool although it does look a little odd that that here what we could do make it look nice and cool we're gonna use stairs right because stairs ooh, you can do some cool stuff with stairs guys 
and we'll do a roof like that and we'll go ahead and just fill it. actually you could take this you could now you can't really see this so if you're on a survival world you may not want to do it it where it makes it glow with shaders but anything else it, it doesn't glow I don't know why but that's just how it's always sort of been I need to actually fill in this with stone brick real quick and then we'll go ahead and yeah see did you guys see that that was pretty cool right so we're gonna put the two beds back there we are gonna need some torches we're not we're gonna need any more we'll just put some torches just right there we're gonna put two bookcases okay as you will put one bookcase one bookcase sorry we're gonna take a chest and we're gonna put it on the left side or right side <laughs> I can't, I can't, I don't even know my sides anymore, guys. What am I going to do? But, uh, I think, I don't think we need trapdoors in here because it's not really an open bedroom. But what you could do is you could take some stairs again with the stairs, guys. They're awesome. You can do so much with them. We can bring this back. We can take a painting. Watch, this is going to be real cool. We don't need these torches here anymore either, which is cool. So we're going to put the painting right there, okay? We're going to put a torch down, and then we're going to place a pot right next to it. And then we're gonna put in whatever flower we want to. It really doesn't matter. You could do we could do an allium right there. Perfect. Looks nice to me. Now what is bedroom miss missing? A crafting table? Yeah, we could put some stuff right here. So again, with the stairs, guys, they are com oh, the stairs are one of my favorite things for building. A lot of people stairs are slept on, guys. People do not understand how many cool things you can do with stairs. So we put some stairs right there. Look at that. Look at that. And then you can put a crafting table right there. You can put an ender chest in the other one. You can really do whatever you want. I mean, you even have room back there. You, you could you could break out that area right there, and you could put a pot behind there if you wanted to. Really, you could. It, it's up to you guys. But I'm just gonna put some, some torches there because it's a little bit dark in there. I think that's a nice bedroom. We need some storage, so let's just grab some chests here, and we're for sure gonna need some stairs. Or else my washer or my dryer is making a weird noise. My washer actually had to stop it. I, I the first recording was ruined. Because like my washer started making this super loud noise like it was like gonna like explode or break or something I was so scared. I was like, oh, no, Well, let's figure out where we should put our chest So I think that's gonna be yep. That's gonna be absolutely perfect So we're just gonna break out this area and since we did uh, Do the smart thing is Someone knocking or is that I don't understand why it's like a Like there's nothing in there that could hit it, but I don't know I should probably go check on that but uh, it's not my washer, it's my apartment's washer, it's not my problem. But we're going to fill in these chests right here, that's going to look nice. And that's actually, I mean, absolutely perfect, there's already stairs up there. Now in the middle, what I like to do typically is just put some furnaces, because, I mean, you're going to need furnaces anyways, so that's a nice place to put them. Uh, we could have somewhat of an, mm, I don't know if I should even tell you guys about this if you're new to the channel. If you're new, you better leave, I'm kidding, we're going to build an advanced nether wart farm, not advanced, it's just another wart farm. But it uh, should be pretty cool. That's just my OCD is going to bother me. So I'm going to fill those in. Really don't need to. We're just going to take some nether wart. I just had to grab some materials. There's a lot of searching there, so I didn't want to make you guys watch. Uh, that's actually too far back. You know, I mean, you could technically do this. I've never done it, and I'm, I did it uh, as, a, as a mistake right now, like just now. So I'm going to do it. But, uh, you, again, you don't have to do that exactly. But you could put a piece of glass there. But I don't know how it would look from the outside. Yeah, but let's let's mm -mm, let's not do that. We'll just put that block back. Actually, well, this would have to be. If that has to be cobblestone, then that means like, nah, it's okay. Honestly, like I I don't want to I don't want to deal with that. I'll, I'll just I'll just leave it like that. The OCD is gonna kick in, but it's okay. So we'll fill that in with two uh, layers of uh, wart right there. So that should be nice. Um, we could do a brewing stand right here, and then you could technically do another brewing stand like that And you could have two brewing stands. I don't know you guys can go crazy with that Personally, I, I don't really need more than one brewing stand if you guys do props to you You're you're making a lot of potions, but me. Hmm, I don't really need that So we're just gonna fill in a cauldron right there, and we probably want a couple chests, so hmm, I'm trying to think uh, realistically, you could put you could put them in the floor, I guess, but oh, it's something that it doesn't look too good to me. So let's see, let's think of something. Oh yeah, I could just do. Nah, that's too high up. Well, I mean, you could do. Nah, I'm trying to think, is it, can you do storage anywhere in here? Oh, uh, we have storage right behind us. I don't know. I think that's pretty good for the inside of this build. Uh, let me see if I can think of anything real quick. I can think of something. I'm thinking of some carpet. So I'm thinking we just do some random carpet. People either love it or you hate it. You might just want to click away if you hate it. But 
I don't know, I think just sort of a random carpet. Shout out to Maniac Geek for helping me out. He's an amazing builder. He uh, gave me this idea, and I've just I've done it pretty much ever since. I really like the way it looks. It's a little bit random. Yeah, that's the key to it. It makes it look nice and uh, homely. But I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this and more, be sure to click that subscribe button. You'll get notified when I upload. If you guys want to see more content like this and more, be sure to click that subscribe button so you get notified when I upload. Did I just say that? I swear. I think I just said that. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would like to see on my channel, what tutorials, and uh, what sort of builds you guys want to see. Because I for sure, guys, I, I want to hear your opinions because you guys really are like I mean you're you're really important to me I mean you you're my job you have been for a while so you guys support me with uh, every view you give me and uh, I, I'm really thankful for all you guys and uh, yeah I mean you guys are you guys are a cool bunch of people so let me know what you guys want to see and I will be sure to try and get out content that you guys will want to watch because if you guys don't tell me what you want to watch and I start uploading stuff you don't like then no one's gonna watch me and uh, slowly my channel will die and I mean that's okay I've had a pretty good run you know it's about six years so but I, I'd prefer to not lose the channel this early on but I mean this early on it's really not that early what I'm doing right here I'd, I actually really don't know what I was doing I was gonna try to build some like little lookout or something so you could like see but that actually looks absolutely terrible so let's go ahead and just remove that but yeah I would like to thank you guys at final time for watching if you're curious about the shader pack texture pack any of that fancy stuff's all gonna be down in the description below so be sure to check that out if you're curious uh, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. Leave a like if you would. That'd be really helpful. I think this chest is a nice little addition. I'm trying to think if I could add anything else really. And I mean, not not particularly. I mean, you could have maybe another armor stand out here. But I mean, what are you what are you gonna do? Like put some leather on it. You could put some you could put some iron. Maybe some chain mail. Maybe some diamond boots. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Like, let's see how that looks. All right, heck yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. I keep trying to make this outro longer because I keep thinking of things. So you can put a sword up here, and uh, that would look nice. We don't have an enchantment table in here. Nah, I got I to gotta end the video. I already said I was going to end it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.